Welcome back and Om Shanti to all of you listeners. Now we're going to do the recording of 28th of August Godly Blessing where Supreme Father wants us to transform and become a great soul and change our attitude towards everything and that is for our own benefit. We're going to understand in a bit. Let's understand what does God have to say in the blessings heading. Supreme Father says, May you be a great soul who transforms attitudes with your wow of determined thoughts. The basis of becoming a great soul is to make a vow of purity in the form of a promise. No matter what somebody tells you, no matter what how harsh they are, no matter what what bad words, disheartening words, negative words, impure words or words of degrading you, they tell you. The most important thing which we have to understand is that's not who we are. Whatsoever other people tell us, that's not who we are actually. That's what they think about us or that's what they are feeling right now. And the reasons could be their own irritation, reasons could be their own low self-value, low self-esteem or their troubles or tribulations in their own life because of which that irritation or frustration is coming out onto you. So then what kind of attitude should you have towards those kind of people? When they are speaking something out of a negative self-belief, self-value or a lower energy, would you like to accept that? No, right? So if you don't want to accept that and if you say no, then you are the right person and then you will become a great soul, a soul who has the capacity to forgive others, a soul who has the capacity to smile from within when somebody is in that kind of lower energy state and have feeling of sorry for them and have feeling of pity for them and thus not bring them down furthermore by bringing yourself down by wanting to take revenge or wanting to give back in some way or the other in a negative way. God then says to make a vow of any type of determined thought means to transform your attitude. Even if somebody is saying something negative about me, even if something is demeaning me, even if something is finding faults in me or someone is creating situations for me in, a, in my life which are not as per how I had thought about it, we have two choices over here. The first choice, get irritated. The second choice is accept till the time you have a determined thought that the thing is going to be done your way only. Provided you are connected to the Supreme Being. And you are clean and clear in your own heart. Otherwise, there will always be a conflict between the two beings. So God then says, a determined thought changes your attitude towards that situation, towards that person. I can bring back my higher vibrations by not getting affected by what the other person says to me. I can be in a state of what we say as the laughing Buddha. Nothing affected him. Because... He understood that in today's world, most of the souls, 99% of the souls are in a very low vibration, that they're not happy with themselves. They've got some form of anxiety, some form of worry, some kind of trouble and some kind of health ailment that they are speaking and thinking out of that kind of negativity. And thus it sounds like a frustration, thus it sounds like irritation, thus it sounds like putting you down. And when you understand the secret... That everybody is an ailing soul with an ailing body, most of them, then you understand that I need not take everybody's word as it is. <clears throat> I need not feel everybody's words as it is and feel down and bring my own energy down. So God says then, a vow means to have a thought in your mind and to observe that precaution physically. That means... I am very, very careful and I am very attentive to my reactions to situations, reactions to people because I understand that I can also bring my energy down, make myself angry, irritated, frustrated, sad, revengeful, just like that person and bring my energy down till such a level that I have an ailing body, I generate some kind of physical disease, I generate some kind of mental disease, I generate some kind of emotional problem in my life. Well, if I love myself so much, then I will have a protection shield around me. 
and that comes with the attitude which we have as God is teaching us. Now details of the attitude which we need to have is what we learn in Brahma Kumaris where somebody telling you something, somebody speaking about you something or somebody even labeling you something doesn't affect you because you know who you are. But do you really know who you are? Whosoever is listening to this audio right now, do you really know who you are? If you don't know, then anyone, any situation can come and sway you in any direction which they want to. So God then says ahead, All of you make a vow of purity and have made your attitude elevated. Now this purity is not just brahmacharya, it's not just celibacy, there's something more to it. It's about the purity of the mind. It's about the purity of attitude. It's the purity of habits. It's the purity of thinking which we are talking about. Not just celibacy. It's something beyond that. Would you like to learn about that purity which is going to make your attitude so powerful and pure that nothing in this world is going to sway you around? And I'm on that path myself. You too can join us at Brahma Kumaris for this path, for this learning. A beautiful, powerful path. Then Father says, by making your attitude one of brotherhood for all souls you have become great souls now what is this brotherhood if you think about it from the nature of your physical features if you think about your ethnicity religion caste and language and food habits we can never call ourselves brothers none of the country will accept that the neighboring country is a brother but when you are soul conscious when you are thinking about the infinite energy infinite spark the quantum field the infinite source of energy only then can you connect to the infinite and you can feel that yes we are all same in his eyes irrespective of how we physically look like and all the labels which we have put onto our physical appearances and habits would you like to learn this beautiful knowledge if so do come learn this beautiful knowledge for free at Brahma Kumaris. why free because God cannot charge you money for something which is so true and invaluable you cannot put a label to this you cannot put a price tag to this knowledge with this Om Shanti